happy Monday, although you're probably watching this on Friday. Welcome back to another M Weekly. I'd love to know if you guys are still enjoying my weekly vlogs and leave a comment below and do let me know. Excuse the not fully finished face, I'm going to the gym. Don't really like going to the gym with any makeup on at all. So I've got my gym get on. Um, I've got a huge pile of clothes behind me because I'm gonna film like an autumn haul very, very soon. Yeah, I need to organize my bedroom, go to the gym. Today is one of those days where I have a meeting this week, tomorrow actually, with my accountant to look into buying my house. So I have a year's worth of accounts to do on my spreadsheet by tomorrow. I've done like three months so far and it literally took me hours. So I'm gonna go to the gym for a break and then I'm gonna work on that also. Look how nice my nails still look absolutely in love with them these are from ragdoll nails these are like my actual nails though um but yeah so i'm gonna quickly do a bit of organization in my bedroom and then get myself to the gym probably best I quickly go and show you, oh my god look at the state of my hair, I go and show you some parcels that arrived over the weekend as well. So Matt and I went to Soho Farmhouse at the weekend, we literally had the best time ever, there's a vlog all about that, so I'll leave a link below, you guys have to go and see that, um, and loads and loads of parcels came, um, so I just kind of want to show you some of the stuff that's come because some of it is so amazing and I can't wait to properly try it out. So first things first. I got Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I've heard some really good things about this. I know Victoria's obsessed with it. Bare Pro, Performance Liquid Foundation, good for skin, 24 hour full coverage. I really, really hope this is as good as everyone says. This came from Charlotte Tilbury. If I can actually open it, he's my foot. Always so graceful. Um, so this is basically a glamorous, gorgeous clutch bag, which I'll show you in a minute, um, with Charlotte Olympia and this is a cinematic Hollywood beauty secrets collection literally look how perfect these are okay so you've got the beauty light wand easy highlighter how amazing you've then got the contour wand the easy contour and then you've got all of these amazing lip colors literally Hollywood lips look how beautiful these colors are so many to go through these shades are absolutely divine. I've never owned a Charlotte Tilbury makeup brush before. And this look is so nice for sculpting. And then she collaborated with Charlotte Olympia. Oh my god, I just ruined the box. Um on a very, 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 very special clip. always been a Mary-Kate and Ashley fan and as they've grown up and evolved they own Elizabeth and James and these are their beautiful perfumes so you've got black you've got white and then you've got amethyst white is peony and it's like musky oh my gosh it's amazing you've got sandalwood vanilla violet for her in the black packaging and then you've got honeysuckle cedar and tobacco in the amethyst Look how beautiful they are, they're exclusive to Harrods. And as an absolute Mary Kate and Ashley addict, I love that they've grown up to be such beautiful, successful, amazing women. Like, oh my gosh, just look at this, this is so stunning. Some top ups of my favourite Nivea things. So this is the Micellar Watt for sensitive skin. It's literally amazing because it doesn't make your eyelashes feel awful because it's just so soft and moisturising. This is the oil-free moisturiser. This is really good for oily skin. It also has UV filters and it leaves the skin feeling hydrated without clogging the pores. It regulates the skin's oil balance. This is a Q10 Plus and I was always told that you should use stuff for anti-wrinkles. 
before you get wrinkles so it's kind of like to stop aging in its tracks and um, obviously we're all going to age but this reduces the appearance of wrinkles for me Nivea is just like a household brand this is something that I've used before and I absolutely love it it's a Q10 anti-wrinkle cream reduces the appearance of wrinkles and minimizes dark under eye circles because it's got coenzyme Q10 and creatine in it it was the original wand that I ever used for curling so I'm so excited to use this maybe I'll fall back in love when curling my hair absolutely love it also comes with a heat glove which I'm really excited about because they always burn my hands but certainly not least oh my goodness how beautiful are these iconic makeup bags but mainly look at the brushes I really needed some new makeup brushes because mine just go a bit skanky and these are just divine, like way too pretty to use. Absolutely amazing. But the thing that blew me away the most, I did not know that Iconic did eyelashes. And look how good these are. Oh my lordy. These are absolutely insane. In love. Look at these. Wow. Okay, so I'm back to sorting now quickly before the gym. I can't remember if I showed you guys these. I'm like almost certain that I did and I've vlogged ages and ages ago. They're like huge by mineral sets. Um, I absolutely love like lip stuff, particularly lip liners. These are actually from World Duty Free. I'm sure I showed you them though because I like World Duty Free exclusive. So I'm just going to organise these into my wardrobe. In fact, no, I've decided to leave them here for the time being because my lipstick cupboard is looking good right now. These are the new Tilbury ones that I told you about. So excited, absolutely love them. Can't wait to properly try them. Also, these ones, I think it's these ones, are new from Smashbox. Oh my goodness, so you put them on and they go like two-toned. I really, really, really can't wait to give those a try. So it's bank holiday Monday today in the UK, which is great because it means I don't actually have any emails to do. I can kind of have an admin day, get on top of life and go to the gym. So I'm going to go to the gym now. Gym session done, ran out of water, couldn't be bothered to fill it up, so I filled a cup with lemon water. David Lloyd's so good, they've got like big things all around full of lemon water. Oh my god, this is what happens when you don't do your makeup properly. I look so dirty right now. So I just filmed, which you literally just saw, my like booty blaster. My bum slash glutes hurts so much. And then I finished it with 20 minutes on the stepper. I watched YouTube videos whilst I was on the stepper and it took away like the pain of how much the stepper hurts. Um, yeah, and I got a personal bath. So smashed like 170 floors, smashed the cows, feeling great. We're gonna go home for a Sunday dinner now, even though it's Monday, it's bank holiday Monday, so it's family day. We are having Sunday dinner. Then it's back to my expenses. Did you smash the gem? Smashed it. Feeling good? Yeah. Back on it. Stay hydrated, guys. Crashed my car last time I did this. Let's not tell anyone about me. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, she's putting all the wrong windows down. <laughs> graceful. So graceful. This is what happens when you get a new car. By the way guys, someone genuinely wrote about me that I got my car for free and that I've been lying about it. Oh. Just to um, let you know, I did not get my car for free. I wish I had a free car. Sorry for the shaky camera. Yeah, that we, we are. Got, we ain't got automatic stabilization. We're going over um, really bad speed bumps. Wait. But yeah, I did not get my car for free. Imagine if I actually got my car for free. I'd be raving about it. 
I've been going to Stratstone for years. I got my car, my first ever car there, then my second car there, and then I got this one there, and they gave me a really good deal because my family always go there. I can't believe someone would actually think I lied and got it for free. Good morning! So what did we do last night? Why did I end the vlog? Oh my gosh, we had Sunday dinner. It was so good. Even though it was a Monday, we had Sunday roast and it was delicious. Matt, how good was that? It was amazing. Does my mum make the best Yorkshire puds in the world? She does indeed. Yes, she does. Um, it was just amazing. And then I stayed up till half past three to finish my expenses. All done. One thing I've realised is I spend way too much money on Ubers. Um, I added them all up, so I really need to deal with that slash walk to more places. So, we dragged ourselves out of bed this morning, really early, and we went straight to David Lloyd, didn't vlog it because I was like, looking horrendous. Smashed my spin class, smashed my bum workout, smashed my abs. That bum workout that I showed you yesterday is basically like 10 minutes, and oh my goodness, the burn you get is so good, and you don't even really need weights if you don't want to add the weight part in. Like today, I just had 10 minutes and did it without weights smashed it feel amazing so wash my hair in the gym feeling fresh now we are heading somewhere really 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 exciting me and matt actually looked on the website last night and we were stalking their instagram and even matt was like oh my goodness this is so good where are we going we're going to home sands so i first fell in love with home sands when sammy sammy maria used to be the beauty crush um she bought a mirror from there like a vintage mirror and i saw it on her instagram and i was like where is that mirror from and i texted her and i remember her being like it's from home sense and i was like what's home sense oh my goodness it's amazing it's actually part of the tk maxx family it's owned by tk maxx and it's just like the best house stuff ever we actually went into the one in leeds city center the other week and matt would not let me buy two pink chairs can't do pink chairs. It's we're going to do pink chairs and we're moving. Hopefully, we'd love to be in there by December. That would be like a Christmas dream come true if we find the right place. Um, and obviously, it's going to be sorry, the sat talking to me. It's going to be all pastel and pineapple and marble and copper. So, we're going to go and find some new stuff today. And I am so excited. We don't have a house, but you don't need a house because you can still buy all the homeware stuff. Even Matt's excited. Look how excited he is! But yeah, we're going to home then, so let's do this! We are here. I've already fallen in love with a fluffy chair. How cute is this? So nice! Also, I love this sofa. So cute! I don't Matt loves this cupboard, distressed wood, so nice. I've sent Matt to get a trolley because I've fallen in love with two lamps. So excited. Look how nice these lamps are. Marble. Get them quick before people get them. Yeah. No, don't get the black one yet because I, I want to keep the money for something. We don't need three lamps. That's a manly one, though. Oh, I don't want them. it to be black. I like the copper theme. Yeah, but that's got copper on it as well. Okay. So we've so far spent about £100 on three lamps. We might take one out if we find other stuff, that's okay? Nice. Yeah, it was really nice. Idea, but they sell books in here. We could get like a really nice coffee table book. I've always wanted like you know the books that are like the Vogue ones and stuff. Like these to get on coffee tables. I like those throws.
love this pink chair. I just wish it was a bit bigger. How cute. Uh, am I allowed a fluffy seat? It's quite nice, Look how cute it is. It's kind of a bit small though. It's quite cool. It's more like a stool though. It's for like doing your makeup at the desk. It's, it's so cute, isn't it? It's 59. Matt found Keith the dog in Keith, Keith the Bulldog, so Keith the bulldog in fall. We also found a pineapple, but my theme is rose gold and gold, so I can't have silver. But for anyone that wants silver pineapples, they have them. Keith is here. Let's look at clocks. Matt says we need a big clock. We don't even know where we're living yet, but we need a clock. Oh my gosh, these are so nice. We stayed at a place in Kent, I'll insert a picture here, and we basically want to recreate that so it was kind of like shabby chic, shabby chic, shabby chic, and it was just like white with like one mint wall and then everything was like really kind of rustic but modern, it was amazing. Shabby uh, chic. Shabby chic. I think one of these um, clocks will make it really 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 nice so. Exactly the kind of clock that we're after, it's huge. And my favourite section, mirrors, because I want to cover my house in mirrors. This is so nice. The music's quite loud, I don't want to shout, so I hope you can actually hear me. But I want to cover my whole house in mirrors, because it makes it look a lot bigger. And I always think coming to places like this for mirrors is the best. This is my outfit for anyone interested. Today's home sense look of the day. Matching actually with the trolley. I got so excited, I thought I'd find a rose gold cup and then I realised it has a Halloween symbol on it. Very cute if you're having a Halloween party though. Look how amazing these are. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. I found a palm tree print chair. That is amazing. I'm trying my hardest to vlog, but it's very, very loud in here. Um, so I've just found the best chair ever. Sorry, it's really, really, really loud. Um, but we want a marble table, and I don't know if they're gonna go with them. Let's see if it fits in the trolley. So we're gonna get one, and then I can put it in the corner of the room as like an accent chair, rather than having four around the table. I feel like four of them may be too much, but I think one. You think one would look quite cool? I'd have it in my office or something. Yeah, really. I really like it. It's so pretty. We're gonna have a think about getting the other three and come back. Everyone loves home sense. I came on a Tuesday, so that it was like really dead, and it's so busy. Find by Matt. He just found rose gold things. So yeah, we'll have those because we do need like cutlery and stuff. Exactly. Match sure with your theme already, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, we found the whisker. So we've literally got the whole set now. What about the big spoon? Or do we already have that? I found a rose gold pizza cutter. Yeah. That's quite cool, that's isn't how it? nice is that? I've not even looked at the price, so we like that's really good. We have to get that. Anything else? Uh, Anything else rose gold? Can yeah, we'll need a can opener. Yeah, we'll need a can opener. Yeah, I get it. Mm. Um, get it all. The peeler. Do you have a peeler? Yeah, I got a peeler. Is the peeler a nice peeler? Don't know, get it out and see if it's nicer. Question is which is the nice peeler? Right, one with the silver. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. I mean, we were debating whether to get a garlic press, but we do not need a garlic press. Really in love with this awesome. baby pink. So you put like stuff in it. It's so gorgeous. I already have copper pans, and I know they're an absolute nightmare to clean, but we did just find these. I'm not gonna get them, but they're beautiful. Oh, look at the baby pink trays, oh my god. Oh my lord, look how cute this is. We have to get this. Oh my god, because I can make banana bread in it. You need to get some baking stuff, because you promised me a lot of baking. I'm gonna do a lot of baking. Look how pretty this is. This is only three nine ten. We're going for like baby pinks, rose gold, green, and we're wondering if we should get, if we should get this toaster because it'll be a really good toaster, but it's baby blue. 
Okay, so matcha sound and matching kettle, because I was saying like I really want it, but I want to make sure I've got a matching kettle um, and baby pink and baby blue go so well together. So we're going to get the toaster as well. I'm so happy. Now Matt's looking at blenders, but little does he know I already have a coffee machine and a blender stored away. I'm just looking at kettles. I don't think. Kettles? Teapots. Look, I always love these teapots. He's like cast iron ones. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Wow, we just found a pineapple that you can pour water out of. Sadly it's gold, so it doesn't stick with the theme. I do love it so much. I love that we don't even have a house yet, but we're literally filling my current house with stuff for when we get a house. He knows I absolutely love sweets. I don't think you can, oh yeah, I think you can actually eat them there. So you can do that, yeah. Matt said I'm like a magpie and I want everything that I see. I'm just looking around now. I really want to get the pink chair, but they don't have it. You know the makeup storage that everyone's obsessed with? Well, I just found it. I've actually just organised all my makeup cupboards, but for anyone who's interested, they sell it, which is amazing. We've decided we can't actually get any cushions yet until we've decided on what sofa we get. So instead, we're gonna go look at the pretty fake flowers. And I know love is hard to make. Happy days, I love home sense. So we have a trolley full of basically everything from rose gold to marble to copper to Everything so cheap. Everything we just bought came up to like £250, including the chair and obviously the electronics, which is just epic. So, we're gonna get some food now. I'm aching so much from spin, absolutely starving. And then I have um, a meeting with my accountant today to actually organize my house stuff. So, we need to be really quick and eat. Meeting done. Good news, kind of, I don't know, complicated. Um, just filmed a video, a homeware haul, because I wanted to film all the stuff I bought today into like an actual video. New dress on, um, and now we're going out for dinner. We're going for a family dinner to Isho in Leeds, which is the amazing Japanese I went to a few weeks ago. It's owned by Angelica. Oh my God, it's amazing. So I'm really excited. This is my first proper meal there. Matt's never been, my mom's never been, so excited. This is my dress. Matt's telling me to hurry up, so I must go. I got this picture in my closet. It's gathering dust right now. And the edges have been folded once or twice. It doesn't look the same no more. Cause the sun has made it pale. I used to have it hanging on my wall some time ago A picture of you You're standing by that window Playing your guitar And if I close my eyes I can almost hear your song Picture of you. So we just finished dinner. Oh my gosh, this light is so bad. So we went to Isho in Victoria Gate. It's owned by Angelica. I haven't been to Angelica for ages. So it's owned by D&D London and it's absolutely amazing. I have so much food, very, very full now. So I'm gonna go home and edit my video from today. Good night. Morning guys, it's an egg. No, it's just me. Um, I look so horrendous. It's August, September by the time this goes live. And I'm wearing my fluffy dressing gown. Comfort comes first. Oh my God, my chair's in the background. I'm so excited. Right, so I've just been in the shower because I've just been to the gym. Didn't vlog the gym because this vlog is already way too long. Comment and tell me you hate me and tell me to stop talking too much. 
if you feel like my vlogs are too long. Um, just got some more Nivea stuff. I've been using Nivea for ages, so I got my top up through the post. I'm so happy. So I'm just going to go put some moisturiser on because my skin feels so ridiculously dry right now. Um, absolutely obsessed with the sensitive day cream. So I can go and use it. And then, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and then I'm going to film an autumn haul. Um, which is going to be separate to this video because I want that to go live and then we're heading straight to Matt's house because we're going to London in the morning because we've got house viewings tomorrow. I am so excited. Oh! So anyway, let's moisturise. Nivea Daily Essentials Light Moisturising Day Cream. I've been using Nivea for years. It's one of those brands that like everyone just uses um, but I've never really talked about it. Well, I think I will have done ages ago but here we go. Nivea Light Moisturising a Day Cream and then I'm going to use the Q10 Plus Anti Wrinkle Eye Cream which reduces the appearance of wrinkles. I really need this because I'm always really stressed and I freak out that my eyes um, are going to get really baggy so I regularly use this formula to support skin zone Q10 and creatine effectively fights wrinkles, reduces their appearance and helps prevent new ones and it's light and fast absorbing but yeah I think it's really good. With this day cream, if you're wondering why I like it, it's because it's enriched with vitamin E, lotus extract, and hydro IQ. It provides intense moisture, um, intensive even, helps to protect the skin from sunlight induced environmental influences and premature aging with, with SPF 15. That's really, really good. I like it, it has SPF in it, refreshes the skin, and it also gives it lots and lots of moisture because obviously it's got vitamin E and natural lotus in it. Let's do this. They do also have a day a daily essential sensitive day cream, which is really good if you have redness, tightness, and dryness. This one's with licorice extract and grape seed oil. The reason I love them are also free from perfume. It's because they're just so affordable for such good ingredients. Helps to calm the skin. So this one's good. I can switch between this one. face is hydrated, quickly got changed, and um, I just want to quickly show you this as well. My cellar water is actually really good for just like making my skin feel super fresh, but I've been using it on a night as like my first cleanse. So this one's just for normal skin, three in one care, cleanse my face and eyes. It's so good for on the lashes because it's got vitamin E and it doesn't like dry out the lashes, it makes them so soft. So yeah, removes eye makeup gently without rubbing and cares for beautiful eyelashes, cleanses deeply and effectively removes makeup and it's super moisturising as well. But yeah, I've absolutely loved using this on an evening to take my makeup off as well. Literally, the dream. But I'm gonna film my autumn look bug now. You guys can watch that in another video. Good morning guys, it's a Thursday. My hair, I used L'Oreal's Silver Shampoo and it's gone so nice and blonder. Got this done by Louise at Sassoon. Um, but yeah, look, it's actually blonde now. I've not even had the chance to show you guys properly. Um, so we're just in London, another day of house hunting. We have got like back to back, like 10 houses maybe, can't even remember. Gonna quick fire see them all and then I'm interviewing Nicole Scherzinger today, which is really exciting because she's launching a new perfume. Then I've got dinner with Armani and I think all the girls like Victoria are going. So I'm super excited. Oh, I'm staying in a hotel that I've never stayed in before, St. Martin's Lane. So excited. Are you excited? Should be good. Should be yeah. Good. yeah, it should be good. So why in this? Let's do this. <laughs> Space. I have a playlist called the Squat Playlist, and every single song is just like this song that just makes you like squat harder or do you know, that, would just be like, that would just be wearing, that would just be really trap or trap music. Yeah, it has to be like hip hop. It really makes me go anyone has told you something that you kind of like passed down with you throughout like life. Um, my mother always said not to compromise myself. Okay. So that's always stuck with me. You know, being true and authentic to who you are. Don't compromise for anyone else. Have to serve you. Hi, Dean. It's Nicole here. I'm here with your girl, Hi. Ed. <laughs> and uh, we're here for the launch of my perfume, Chosen. And I wanted to share that with you because you're chosen. You're very special. It's on my prayers with you. And I'm sending you 
lots and lots of them. I just interviewed Nicole. Um, if you saw me typing on my phone in that, it's because I wanted to write down everything she said because I made a blog post about it. She was amazing. Oh my god, someone's at the door. I just checked into my room. One minute. We, we just got our luggage dropped off. So we just checked into the St. Martin's Lane Hotel. It is so beautiful. I didn't even know this hotel existed. It's in a prime location, literally. Really close to Leicester Square and it's beautiful. I'm going to give you a quick room tour, then I'm going to get ready, then I've got dinner with Armani. This vlog is way too long. Up lonely and for you there is nothing in this world I wouldn't do I would walk a thousand miles just to see you ridiculously mm -hmm. late but here's my outfit let's do this I'm gonna finish this vlog here. So I just had dinner at Self Cheers with Armani. We ate at the corner restaurant, it was delicious. Um, I didn't vlog much, but I sat with all the girls. So I was with Victoria, Amelia, Tamara, Josie, and Danielle. It was so good to see them all. Um, so the new Ecstasy Shine lipsticks, they launch exclusively to Self Cheers today, tomorrow. Um, I also got a little um, Armani card holder, but I got Amelia's by accident. Um, I'm gonna do like probably next week's vlog or next week's video. I'll show you the lipsticks properly. But here they are. In fact, I might photograph these and get them up on the blog tomorrow. Tempting. Um, but yeah, here they are. Gorgeous colours. Really, really excited to use them and really excited to show you them properly. But this is why we went to the dinner. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all for watching and I'll link everything I've talked about below. And please leave comments so we can chat. Goodbye from St. Martin's Lane Hotel.